Hello everyone, so this is my uh, my next episode. We're going to be talking about um, one of my uh, my favorite graphics cards as far as uh, reference card styles. And this is going to have to be the R9 290 and the 290X. Um, I'll have a picture of it on the top right. I still, this is uh, 2021 and I still want this card just to say I own it. So this was about three years ago, four years ago. This card on eBay was going for like seventy dollars, like literally seventy bucks. I was just about to buy them. I was about to buy two, three. Just that, you know, everyone wants this crossfire, and this would have been the card. I, uh, when it first came out, this probably would have been the card that I would have bought. But the problem was it was four hundred bucks. Now I'm looking on eBay. It's back to like one seventy hundred and change so you know it might be hard to find that now this is one of my favorite reference um, reference card styles another one I like this isn't a reference style I don't believe but uh, what I purchased was at the time it was a R9 270 this was the model I could afford this was going for about 130 they don't they don't make graphics cards the way they used to as far as pricing goes, this was a decent card at the time. It was a little buggy, and um, R9 270 didn't even play. Um, maybe Hitman was a hard run for it, but I noticed the I had VSync on, and the, the R9 270 did not make Hitman look good at all. It looked bad, but um, the R9 270 is a good starter card. When I upgrade to the um, the Radeon RX 580, that's where I knew like that's a nice, that's a nice card. But the R9 270 MSI uh, Twin Frozer, the Twin Frozer is a nice looking card though. I'll still buy that card. Nice red on black, just like the R9 290 did, all red on black. I like the um, like the Turbon style reference cards for that for the Radeon R9 series. Very nice. Um, it's one of my overall favorites as far as reference style cards. Um, another one that I still want to get my hands on to this day, and this is 2021. It's the R9 Fury X water cooled. Oh, it's one of the ones that I still want to get my hands on, but Again, it's like one of those things like back then it would have been an insane price. Now the card's older. And, well, it's still hard to get, but a couple years ago you would have been able to get the R9 Fury for almost dirt cheap compared to what it was. But, um, yeah, I hope to, hope to be able to find one of those as well. I don't know. I want to know what everyone else's... Uh, favorite reference card style is. This is R9 290X 290 is one of my favorites. Just wanted to mention this. If I was going to make a rig I would definitely if I if I just want to make like a like an olden rig kind of just something for like a throwback rig I'd definitely use the R9 290s. I'd have two of those and probably a good old AM3 Plus uh, motherboard set up but I'd just love to see a throwback like that again. But hopefully, I'm still looking. I'm looking to get my hands on a R9 290 or a 290X just to have it and say I had it. That's it. Uh, I couldn't afford it at the time, but it'd be nice even to have it used. Picking one up now would be great. Just, um, I don't know, it'd just be so cool to have. But I'm going to keep looking. Um, thanks again for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and maybe uh, in the comments let me know your favorite uh, reference card, right? All right, everyone have a nice day, and have a good Halloween.